my camera got stolen yesterday. No can I need to Hi everybody, I hope you're doing great. Today's video is a story of hope because we're all going through a very hard time and so I'm gonna tell you why I went to the police station, my camera got stolen and what happened and I was gonna film this video in my room but I was like we all need some air and to see the sky and the birds because we're all... So yeah, I was like let's film this in the house garden because I also need some fresh air. Back to this video. So today's story is a story time uh, about how my camera got stolen. So me and Asma, we were in Riga, we were having fun, we were taking pictures and it was beautiful. We were having the like, best time of our lives. Anyways, the journey continued as you saw in the vlog. If you haven't seen the vlog, go and watch the vlog. And I didn't talk about it in that video because I didn't want to mess the, the story, but this is a story worth sharing. Anyways, it's all about hope and you will love it. So. We were taking pictures and at some point we were in uh, in a place like in a Saha we were taking pictures and it took us like just five minutes after those five minutes we looked where my coat wa was and where I put this camera and the camera wasn't there it was in a bag and so I panicked I was like oh Asma so a guy who was singing next to us he was like oh you're looking for the waste bag I was like yes he said a woman took it and she went this way and I was like when he said five minutes ago we panicked and then we started running me and Asma we started running like in that direction and then we arrived to a place where there was like many many roads so I looked like this like to the sky and I was like Asma continued running and at that, that point I was like I know I will not get my camera back so I started crying زعما كنت نقول لكم شحال لا في الليله والبلاد هايله صا سرقوا لي الكاميرا تاعي anyways i was like if asma is going to come back at least she was going to find me in the place where the camera got stolen so i went back there and i started crying and i asked the guy like I was like, I was depressed, <laughs> crying and, and he said, okay, call the police. I said, I don't have a SIM card and I don't know how to talk in like Latvian or whatever. So he said, okay, I'm gonna call the police. He called the police and he said they were gonna be there. It took them 20 minutes to get there. And I was like, okay, so there's cameras everywhere and they're gonna watch like in the cameras and they will find her and I was like oh my god this is so easy and I was so happy I was like okay I'm gonna get it back and at that point I was crying only because I lost the camera I mean I've said I spent money on it so it's like I lost my camera I panicked and I know anyway 20 minutes later the police came he took our passports and I was like what if this is a scenario I mean they made up and these are not the police so I panicked and I was like so they asked us to go with them in the car me and Asma went into the car, he said, okay, we're gonna watch, maybe we can find this woman that you're talking about. And then I was like, And she was like, oh my God, so we panicked anyways. So he said, okay, we can't find the woman, so we're gonna take you to the police station and uh, see what they can do there. And I was like, okay, are you gonna look into the cameras? He said, oh, I don't know. So I was like, oh. anyways. We went to the police station, we waited, there was a translator who was very rude. She came and she was like, ah, it's just the camera, blah, blah, blah. And then I was like, oh my God, I for I remembered that I had copied the files that I shot in Cesis, which is a beautiful city. And we stayed there for like 24 hours, two days. And I was like, oh my God, everything that I shot there is not there anymore I mean the camera is not there at least I want to get the the memory card back so I started panicking again and I started crying not because of the camera but because of everything I shot <laughs> So I was like, oh my God, what am I gonna do? So we were in the police station and she came and she was like, okay, you know what? We are not gonna look into the cameras because it takes like a lot of time. So you have to sign a paper that, like uh, a piece of paper, the report that you, either you want us to 
start investigating but then whenever we need you you will come and obviously it's impossible I can't go back and forth from Algeria to Latvia or she said you can just report that you lost your camera and that's it and I was like I started crying she was like ah, it's just a camera she was very rude and I was like ah anyway so and I felt bad because I felt a small loss today we lost like four hours that day and it was the first day where uh, the women in travel summit was gonna start I had a party that night like the the opening party and I was like oh my god okay you know what forget it and I was like okay so I told Esma listen I need a hug please hug me and خلاص let's be happy and then I started laughing hysterically because I was like this is so stupid how can I put my camera on the floor and expect no one to steal it anyway so خلاص I accepted the fact that my camera got stolen خلاص I was like let me live whatever I'm gonna live in this experience <clears throat> And I made the video about the experience as well, about me speaking and the women in travel summit, if you want to watch it. And so, we went to the party, it was amazing, there was a VIP party for speakers and I was speaker, so it was so super cool, we had a chocolate workshop, we had a pianist, and uh, it was amazing. Can you listen to the birds? It's beautiful. Anyways, class. we had the, the opening party, me and Esma, and then everyone I met, my friends and everyone. And it was great. So we had the party, it was amazing. I took some videos with my other camera. And then we went to the to the, the hostel back and Asma said, Oh my god, listen, there's someone who is texting me. I said, Me too. Like someone sent me a message on Instagram. And guess how he found me? This guy went into every video on my camera and there was one video where I said go and watch what I said some See amazing some pictures. pictures so go yeah. to Instagram the African and Nor Brahimi and I literally never say come and follow me on Instagram on my vlogs and in that video I said hi my name is Nor Brahimi she's the African find us on Instagram because we took some amazing pictures and that's how we found us so he sent us some videos that I'm gonna read right now he said <clears throat> So at 9 p.m. he said hello and at that time I was in the party with Asma. So he said I found your photo booth, how can I transfer it you to it? And I was like, what's a photo booth? So I was like, I'm not gonna pay attention. And then when Asma said, oh look, like we found that the same guy started commenting and sending us, me sending us messages, I was like, maybe a photo booth is a camera, maybe. So. I said hello you mean my camera he said yes I said can you show me a picture because I thought maybe he saw stories on Instagram and he's just messing with me he said yes one second I leave it at the police he showed me a picture of the police like the street he said in the street because you don't answer and I was like this is weird okay I was like can you tell me the name of the camera or how you found me he said Canon I look into the video which you do and he was talking about the video I showed you and I was like oh my god thank you but I was like maybe he's lying but I was like so happy that I wanted to believe it and he said there you said uh, Instagram your Instagram name and I was like which police station and it turned out to be the same police station I went to to report my stolen camera and I was like oh my god that's so nice he gave me the street and I said uh, thank you so much etc and he said you can go now and it was 10 p.m. I was like I'm not gonna go now maybe he's waiting for me to steal something and I was like terrified at that time me and Esma went to the oh, wait. so at that time me and Esma went to the girl that works in the hostel and I was like I mean is this even possible she said no he's a scammer don't don't go don't trust him and I was like okay we're not gonna trust him. I asked him for his number because and I took screenshots in case something happened to me like at least the girl has his number and everything I asked him how old he was and he said he was 22 and he said he was a student so that was already like so nice of him and then the next morning I went to the police station like 8 p.m. we were there and uh, I went inside I said listen someone sent me a message and they said that they found the camera please can you check if uh, the camera is there and then so the translator that same route translator she was like yeah so they gave me the camera with the monopod back and um, the bag was stolen <clears throat> 
and I didn't believe it like I was crying I was jumping and that is the happiest I ever felt and it was impossible like it's impossible you know you like in a country where you know nobody and your camera is stolen you're like okay خلاص, I lost it I lost it ف... I f like oh my god it was impossible guys my camera got stolen yesterday this camera and I she found it less than 24 hours we found it we'll someone the police, huh? yes the police <laughs> okay I gotta show you uh, like in less than 24 hours someone found my camera and I'm so glad like I was filming yesterday and I said hi my name is Noor and I'm on Instagram and so he was checking the videos and found my name so he sent me on Instagram he said I put your camera at the police station and I don't know like how this happened but like Alhamdulillah I'm speechless I'm speechless! <laughs> Alhamdulillah seriously Alhamdulillah yes now keep we're late for God, the conference guys. keep waiting so. God <laughs> We have a conference and we're super super late but like it's fine Oh, I'm not going Anyways, I went back to the conference and I was gonna speak at 9 p.m. Like my talk was at 9 p.m. So I arrived at 9 p.m. because I went to the police station and then we came back So I made it on time to the conference I'm very excited and I'm so happy I got my camera back And I remember when I was like when I was in the car with Asma Like I closed my eyes because I knew it was impossible for me to get the camera back I was like Ya Rabbi Please, a miracle. Like when I knew that I wasn't gonna get it back, I was like, maybe it's meant for me to get a new camera or something. Anyways, it was impossible. So we agreed. Uh, to meet he came to my hotel and it was uh, at noon because I had the Pozdej where we are gonna have lunch and then I met him and he's so young he's so nice so I took a video with him okay guys uh, the hero who gave me back my camera just came and I want to thank him so thank you what is your name uh, my name is George George you're you're a really good guy George thank you so much <laughs> and I cannot tell you how grateful I was, how I was really grateful and it was unbelievable. This is probably the craziest story that ever happened to me and I was like so grateful. I can't tell you how grateful I was. Anyways, this is a story of hope to tell you that when you think that everything is over, when you see no hope and you think khlas. Yani, it's black it's not because God has better plans for us Allah has better plans for us and whenever we think that it's at the end it's actually the beginning and many new doors are gonna open yeah that's the story time anyways new videos are coming guys I'm sorry for not showing up more like a lot lately because I was like depressed and I was like why am I depressed I mean I mean we have everything to be grateful for we have nature we have family surrounding us we have Yahmina, we have internet and it's time to learn things so yes let's get pumped get pumped let's learn let's be grateful and hope this ends soon thank you for watching and see you on other vlogs